Are you ready? All right, so we got a question today. How to tell if you specifically can eat eggs. The main thing when it comes down to anything inside of your diet, when you eat something, you want to pay attention to signs of like inflammation or allergies. Those things would be like inflammation B1. Your nose starts to uh, clog up on you. You start to produce mucus. You start to see rashes form on different parts of your body. And then you also start becoming bloated. You start to become gassy. Okay. And actually, the song that they got out, some of y'all may be too young to even know about the song, but uh, beans, beans, the more you eat, the more you fart. You know what I'm saying? That's that's pretty much how it goes. A lot of people, and I've even come across people, chronic farter. You know, like <laughs> farting in the bed, farting all over where. Okay, just dirty. Get in the shower, come out, start farting, and then still say they clean. Okay. This could be your auntie we talking about, your mom, your dad, your grandpa. It's a lot of people that do this. Firing all up in their drawers and everything. Doing, <laughs> you know, doing all that. They could be having a reaction to the beans. But a lot of people like beans so much, they're still gonna eat it. There's just nothing you can do about it. People are gonna do what they're gonna do, okay? But yeah, beans is actually one of the top allergic foods for human beings and um a tall tale sign is that farting and that bloating that happens okay uh and uh, all that fiber okay when you got all that fiber jumping off with something like beans as well on top of a um, allergic situation it um slows down the food passing through in your gut that allows the bacteria to eat on that fiber and produce an overgrowth some people call it SIBO. It's pretty much an overgrowth of bacteria. Okay? So, um, people just start having a whole bunch of issues like that. People get it with eggs. People get it with nuts. Peanuts are actually considered a bean. Okay? Most people don't know that. Uh, but peanuts are considered a bean. That's why some people start farting a lot on peanuts. They also get an anaphylactic shot. And it can actually be very dangerous if you don't know what food gives you that anaphylactic reaction because it's in some people your nose gets congested so much and flares up it can clear it can close your airways and you start getting a wheezing <laughs> start becoming like that people get that with shellfish sometimes uh whether or not it was farm raised or um wild caught so you do want to be aware after you eat, when you eat something new, or you may have been eating the food for a particular long time, you want to test each food in your body, okay? Pretty much, I do it. I eat certain three things. If I notice something, when I take it out the next day, trash it. Uh, even spices, spices like paprika, chili, uh, onion, garlic. A lot of those things cause issues with a lot of people. And people be trying to figure out why are they bloating, why are they bloating. Something that you're eating, nine times out of ten. Okay? So, you do want to pay attention to that. What? How do you tell what's the healthiest versions of food they sell in the store? Okay? So, what they're talking about is when you got a piece of fish up in the store, and it says farm-raised. Uh, and then you got another one saying wild caught, okay? Pretty much when it comes to fish, the best quality without all the hormones is going to be wild caught, okay? Wild caught shrimp. They're, they sell wild caught shrimp at Sam's Club. Um, wild caught salmon. Wild caught any type of fish, okay? Because what I found out about salmon, and you guys can look this up and Google it, most of the farm-raised fish... Uh, salmon, they put vaccines inside of them, okay? They put vaccines and all these things because they have these salmon all in terrible conditions and they get sick easily. Most of them have some type of disease uh, just from the conditions, you know. The, the salmon are living all in close quarters. There's too many salmon in one area. 
They're pooping like mad. That breeds uh, conditions for disease. Overgrowth of bacteria get all up in their lungs. Their skin starts deteriorating, flesh starts to deteriorate, and they're still living. So they vaccine them up. And they don't particularly put that on the package that you see when you get farm-raised salmon, farm-raised catfish, farm-raised whatever fish. But I just know they do that particularly with salmon. God knows what else the FDA is allowing uh, these companies to do to these uh, fish that they don't tell us. Okay, I think we learned pretty much 2020 to the present day in 2022 going into 2023 that they do not care about our well-being. They do not care about us that much. We're just a number and a profit bottom line to them. Okay, so that just is what it is. When it comes to beef, you want grass-fed, 100% grass-fed. Okay, not grass-fed. All these things come down to legalese. So that's why they use those certain words. When you go to places outside of the United States of America with 3K, you start to see, like over in Australia, the lamb, they don't have to put grass-fed. Because everything is fed on grass because it's cost effective to do it that way. But over here in the USA, they have to give money because the government incentivizes using corn, okay, to feed to the animals. The corn does not digest well for cows and ruminants. Ruminants are going to be your cows, your lambs, sheep, you know, things like that. They don't digest well in those uh, digestive systems. Okay, corn does not do well, so it's going to create inflammatory processes, and the animal is not going to uptake the all of the vitamins and nutrients they have compared to a grass fed 100% animal. Okay, eating grass because God made them animals to be able to, to break down and uptake the nutrients from what they were designed to eat, which is grass. Okay, it's just kind of like Humans eating a whole bunch of candy, eating a whole bunch of Doritos, Cheetos, Burritos, and Taco Bell, thinking they're going to be healthy and getting all they, uh, in cereal, thinking they're going to get all their vitamins and minerals when you're not, because you're not designed to eat those things all day, every day. You're just not, okay? So, um, that pretty much when it comes to beef in the United States, 100% and needs to say 100% grass fed, grass finished. Uh, when it comes to seafood, wild caught. And that's pretty much what you're looking for. With eggs, you want pasture raised eggs. Okay, they got free range, and then they got the cage free, and then they just got the run of the mill eggs. When you get pasture raised eggs, you'll see the difference in the yolk. The yolk will be a, a orange yellow color. Okay, everything else down the line behind them is just yellow. It's a pale yellow, and that's because it's the lack of nutrients. Down in Missouri, it's a whole bunch of farms. So I went to uh, one of these farms to see how the chickens was doing, and I got some eggs from them. And this was during the summertime. I was like, man, what are chickens? And then the chickens just came running out of nowhere. They were eating butterflies. They were eating crickets. They eat mice that will run past and they can catch it. Because y'all know chicken, chickens are omnivorous. So if you ever see vegetarian fed chickens, you know what I'm saying? They're omnivorous. They're supposed to be eating both because that's what they would do naturally out, out and about. They were eating all different types of things, okay? And when I cracked them eggs open, the yolk was a deep orange yellow. You can see it with your own eyes and tell, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be eating. This is what I'm supposed to be feeding to my children. If I'm a pregnant woman, this is what I want to be eating. And ignore what the FDA and the government is telling pregnant women to eat, which is a whole bunch of pills, Similac, destroying the children, and giving them a whole bunch of crap. All these vitamins that ain't got enough vitamins. They just selling it for the dollar. So if you're pregnant, just make sure 
you're getting some real food with real nutrients because there's a whole bunch of spells that in these words that they use to try to sell things, okay? And then they put marketing and advertising behind certain words, making it, oh, this is healthy, this is healthy. I told y'all about that word, uh, healthy, okay? It's a regulated term, just like grass-fed is regulated, and it has to mean a certain thing, okay, according to the FDA. You don't believe me? Go ahead and search it for yourself. I'm just the messenger, and I'm letting you know. So, that's it. So, if you want to stop getting lied to about weight loss, nutrition, anything about it, remember to hit that like button. Down beneath this video, go purchase the course if you want it all in an organized fashion so you ain't got to look all over my channel for the information. Or if you don't want to do that, go ahead and watch another video on my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell.